Come on, let's check the next floor. Abby, how stable is this building? After the earthquake, not sure, but we don't have much time to evacuate any survivors. A Abby, I think I see someone. Are you okay? Can you hear me? She's breathing and she has a steady pulse, but she needs to get to the hospital. Right. Call in our position. Uh, my battery's dead. Wonderful. Use mine. Your battery's drained too. You can get up now, Anna. Good thing it's just a test drill, right? Well, it could be worse. I guess we still have working flashlights. Guys, we have to find a way to keep these batteries charged. Hey, you must be the rescue workers. Welcome to the energy research lab. Thanks. So, I hear your batteries died during a drill. Yeah. If it would have been a real emergency, we would have been in trouble. Serious trouble. We rely on the radios to communicate with emergency workers, like police, fire departments, hospitals. And we don't know how long we're going to be in an emergency situation. We could be out there for a while. It's not feasible to plug your devices in to charge while you're on a rescue mission? No, we can't count on it. We could be out in the wilderness, or the power grid may not be working. Hmm. Even if it is on, we may not be in one place long enough to charge it. OK. So what you really need is a portable energy source that can power a small device. But not just radios. We have GPS and flashlights. Got it. We'll put the team to work and be in touch when we have a few designs. Sounds good. Thanks. 